Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what we got for you today? Well, what we've got for you is a lovely Estabrook fountain pen. Now, some of you will look at this pen and say, oh, that doesn't look like an Estabrook. Well, yeah, it's not the sort of the J series or anything like that. This is actually the Estabrook M2 Aerometric fountain pen. Now, the Estabrook M2 pens came out around about the 1950s and that's when Estabrook actually jumped onto the sort of the aerometric filling system bandwagon which we'll show you in a moment but this pen here you can see it comes in this red plastic now although it's this one is actually red I do believe they brought them out in different colours blues and greens and obviously classic standard black colours but it comes this one is in red and they also come with this uh, stainless steel cap and if we bring it a little bit closer I'm hoping you can see it's got this sort of uh, engine turn pattern to the to the cap there and if we show you the the clip to the top you can see it's got the word Estabrook written on the clip now these pens are very recognizable by you can see to the top there it's got this sort of slight indent to the top of the to the top of the cap there so that's how they're uh, you know you can actually recognize this specific model but all in all although this particular pen at the time was sort of a lower end pen if you like it's still a very nice well made pen and a lovely everyday writer and th this pen although it's from the 1950s lovely condition will still carry on writing I would say for another for another 50 years now a little thing about this particular pen which I think is a little bit unusual that the M2s rather had the Estabrook written on the clip as in this particular case or in some cases they had it written to the bottom of the cap now this one not only has it to to the clip there but it's also got a nice barrel imprint as well which what I'm going to do is bring it nice and close to you for you and keep it nice and still and you'll see there it's got a lovely clear imprint that reads Estabrook and then just to the right it's got the sort of the registered sort of symbol and then underneath there it's got made in USA so it's uh, an American made Estabrook fountain pen as I say in lovely condition I've serviced it cleaned it etc now the cap on these pens simply unscrew let's show you the pen in different different angles as I say nice and clean let's show you the section first of all you'll see the thread there is sort of well yeah it's a continuation of the of the barrel or maybe the thread it's in plastic the section slightly sort of tapered towards the nib and if we show you the nib there again very recognizable Estabrook nib in stainless steel and this one if I keep it nice and still for you you'll be able to see it says Estabrook 9668 now that indicates that this nib is a firm medium nib and it's used for general writing there's a sideways view you can see the feed with the the fins underneath there and if we take it over to the other side show you the the feed underneath there again you can see nice and clean we've cleaned everything and a lovely thing about this pen or the m2 pens very similar to a lot of the other Estabrook pens in that if we grab the nib oops <laughs> and no we don't want to unscrew the the section if we grab the nib and screw on the section like so there you go you can see the nib is interchangeable so once again in this pen you can actually if you're not happy with this particular nib or you'd like another another size of nib they're readily available 
you can purchase a nib to your liking and that just simply goes inside there like so and it screws back into the section nice and easily so all in all a lovely pen very much underrated in my opinion let's take the the barrel off for you you can see again now you've got this very reminiscent of a lot of other pens of that particular period this aerometric type filling system and if we show you the the protector there you'll see it says Estabrook and if we turn it round it should say press bar three times to flush and fill so you got the instructions on the sap protector for you right what we'll do let's bring on some ink dip the nib in the ink give it a couple of presses we don't need a lot it's only for a writing sample move the ink to one side okay let's bring on some paper and let's see how the pen writes so what we have right we've got this strange fly flying about <laughs> so we've got an Esther Brook that sort of put me off a bit okay an Esther Brook M2 fountain pen as we said this is the aero metric filling pen we're dating the pen from the 1950s and it's actually writing very nicely as it says it's writing with a medium line there's no flexibility in this pen I'm actually saying that there's there's just slight a slight difference in in line but no it's a stainless steel nib so if there's any variation then I would say that's actually a bonus bonus to the pen but it's writing very nicely from this nice steel nib so there's a writing sample lovely writer nice and smoothly medium line very nice indeed so let's pop the cap back on screw it back on and there we have it let's keep it nice and short we've got an Estabrook M2 aerometric fountain pen from the around about the 1950s in this lovely red colour with a stainless steel stainless steel cap so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't be shy leave a comment below have you subscribed if not why not subscribe now but for now I'll just say Bye-bye for now.